Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mum. 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 I I know. I got sacked. You don't need to reply. It remind me every day. I know. I know. It, it's it's a failure of mine. Okay. Okay. Yes. Please. Please. I'm looking for a job. And I'm, I'm looking for a job. I'm looking. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Chicken nuggets, chips, and some chocolate milk for dinner, please. Yes, I'll come up and get it, don't worry. I'm not going to stay down in the basement all the time, am I? Oh, hang on, I'm getting another call. One second. Uh, hel hello? Hel hello? No, no, I... English. I, I only speak English. Oh, you speak... Oh, good, 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 good. You want me to come to where? Well, I'll, um... I'll pack my bags then, and, and I'll be there as, as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was unexpected. Yes, welcome back everyone. We do have a new job and today we're heading to Malaysia. We are managing the Cats Kuching City FC. Kuching FC, they confirmed the appointment of Ross Whitehead as a club's new manager. Eyebrows have been raising the world of football at the appointment of the 28-year-old eight, uh, even. I know my age. I know my age. He's recently spent time away from club football. He's sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time. I don't think I've spent that long away from football. Sure. Uh, we replaced previous manager Ifran Bakti Abdul Salim. Uh, Rafid Rashid, Rafidi Rashid, sorry, was considered the favourite for the job, but it's unclear if the club favoured me all along. They did not. Uh, White has told that Vadi was eventually sacked. We did, no, no, we don't need to bring that up. That's going to get brought up every time I take another job somewhere, isn't it? Oh dear. So yeah, Malaysia is where we are heading. They were relegated last season from the Super League, which is the league that we have to win. Um, 40,000 capacity stadium. Sure. No transfer budget. Insecure finances. Five grand in the wage budget. These are a professional full-time clubs, so this should be um, a little bit better for me. We've won no trophies at all in the club's history. Poor training, poor youth, and limited youth recruitment. Uh, founded in 2015, so they're not actually that old of a club. Um, we'll get to meet some of these players as we go along. They want us to play defensively solid football. I'm an expert in that. Yep. Uh, work within a wage budget, fight bravely against relegation, and third round of the FA Cup here, uh, and sign players under the age of 23. So we will, of course, meet the media etc etc um malaysian premier league hasn't started yet we have um well, our first game is third february we're in november at the moment so we've got a while before that starts season preview at the moment we're predicted to finish fourth so board are either really really negative or the media are very very optimistic for our future here um three players contracts Expiring at the end of the season, no interest, no interest in them. Then Kamal and Zambri are retiring, so we're not going to resign them. Do we? It's an extra four hundred pounds in the wage budget if we say we're going to finish mid table. I'm going to do that. I'm going to stick that up a lot higher. Um. Pictures wise, that is going to be our first game. So I'm now going to go and play ahead, and we're going to come back for the start of the season and see what transfers I make with this club. Um, this is the. Oh, that's not the guy whose contract is expiring. Mod Fired, Mod Sukifi Amin. I, this is going to be horrible. I can't pronounce names. Um, so apologies if I do offend anyone with my pronunciations. Please do let me know down below um, what the correct pronunciations are on some of these places and people. Um, I would quite like to learn. But this guy looks to be our star on either wing 
He's not going to be the inside forward I like. His finishing isn't quite good enough for that. But he, he looks like a pretty good player if we can keep hold of him. Um, he's wanted by a couple of clubs higher up. And we look like we have a decent team, although it is relatively ageing. Uh, dev centre-wise, couple of prospects in there. Probably won't be here long enough to see them, you know, really break into the first team and similar down in the under-19s. So the Malaysian FA Cup is the one that we have to win here. Um, I'm definitely not expecting to get through to the final at all. Uh, Malaysian Premier League is their second division, their championship, basically. If you are from England and you know the English league structure, the Super League is the one that we have to win. And you can see here um, above my head, it's been dominated by Joe Hall since 2014, basically. So, yeah. If we get promoted first season, that'll be 10 years in a row if they win the, season, if they win the league this season, of course. That they've won it. So they are really the ones to, to beat. Care that, of course, the club that we did it with last year on last year's game. Um, but we'll see. We're not focusing that far yet. We're focusing on the Premier League and this season. So yeah, I want to come back in just a moment um, for the start of the Premier League season. So, Cutchin City, let's just take a look at them and their facilities. And I trust the old little Google Earth again. You see, we fly in to Malaysia here. And uh, this is our little, I say little ground. It's a relatively big ground. It's a nice little sporting area. We've got a nice shooting club over here. For when our players don't want to perform, we can line them up and uh, take pot shots at them. Um, and this is a stadium that we actually share with Sarawak FC. Um, so there's a couple of us that play here. And if we just take a look at the little entrance, it's not a bad little stadium at all, is it? You've got your smaller one over there, which I assume will be used as a training ground, um, batic centre, just a little sporting complex. And that is our ground. If we, I don't know if we can back out quite easily here, um, that way we can. Can we get a bit of a closer look maybe? Let's fly over this side. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's a little bit dated, but you know, it's a nice little ground for us. And, um... I know I said it before at Limavady, but I'm quite excited to see what we can do with this team. So we're finally here. It's time for the first game of the season uh, with Cutching City FC. See, we brought in a, a fair few players here. We had 12 players out of contract um, at the end of last season. So they have all gone and left the club. They, none of them wanted to you know, sign a new contract. Um, so we've had to replace them and bring in a whole host of first-team players. And we've done that with a load of free transfers. Uh, Mindenke, Azar, Hassan, Sulami, Suta, Zakaria, Fatih and Zakaria. Um, all, all signing for the club for this upcoming season. One crucial thing is um, we've managed to keep hold of some of our main stars. But you can see here, top two decided they're leaving on a free transfer at the end of this season, so we have them for a season. We need to go and make the most of it. There's a lot of talk around the club about relegation. Um, that apparently could be a thing. Season preview has us in third place. So, yeah, if which one actually happens is a different matter. Um, top two promoted automatically, but Selangor the second, Parak the second, Doha DT the second, and Taranganu the second, all ineligible for promotion, which is why this is here in um, third place instead of second. But yeah, let's go and start the, the league, shall we? We're going with a more direct counter-attack sort of style um, this season. We've got Sutter in goal. Uh, he was one of our new signings. The only goalkeepers we had was youth ones. So we brought in this guy, the Australian goalkeeper. Hopefully he can do a decent job for us this season. Uh, Rizali, Lee, Songwu, Ibrahim and Bahari at the back. Sakifi, Amin, Zakaria, Jazzy and Kalank in midfield. Azar and Jezzy up top. Um, yeah, again, hopefully I've pronounced these names correctly. Um, it's probably one of the biggest challenges of this sort of series. 
for me is the pronunciations of names and places and basic English as well. So yeah, I mean I can't even do English, never mind names from around the world. But that is what we're going with. We're at home to Catalan United FC today. And I'm gonna talk to and press me. I don't like that, they're complacent. I don't like this at all. Um but we can see what we can do. This is technically still season two. Uh, Malaysia has a a league system that runs in the calendar year, hence why we're in January starting this season. Um not finishing as you'd in expecting like some European competitions we were seeing in Northern Ireland. We have some defending to do here with this first highlight. Bukhari, Sabil, place it inside. Lujang hits one, and it's a beautiful goal from Stephen Lujang to put us 1 0 down early on. And um, some things never change, do they? Some things never change. The referee is wearing purple boots, by the way. That's very distracting there. Purple boots for a referee. As a referee myself, you don't do that. Black boots, come on. Come on. It's a free kick now, delivered to us by post. Keeper gets his hand on it and doesn't quite do well enough, but unfortunately we get a man in there to block, and there's not a great first impression from Suter. Going to demand more, and we we only had two shots. They are bossy in possession, as you'd expect, a counter attacking style. Um, but the chances we are getting, we're not really doing anything with them. We've not had a shot on target yet. Rosali looks forward. It's a poor ball, though, and I just I don't quite understand how they get so much space here. Gianni is in behind, cuts back, and it's a foul. Xiong Wu, who of course is leaving, goes at the end of the season. Gives away a penalty for a trip there. It's a needless challenge, really. Colbaderto steps up, smashes home. Keeper doesn't even move. It's 2 0. And um, yeah, we, we need to make some sort of changes. We're going to go through a wing play system. That's what we're going to go for now. We're going to go wing play. See if we can actually get anything from this game. Even a point at this point would be fantastic. It's a beautiful penalty. And we're just going to berate them just before half time. They know they're going to get rollicking when we get into our dressing room. And I'm going to tell them it's been terrible. And we are going to criticise a couple of individuals here. So anyone on a 6.5 or less is about to get a telling off here. I'm not happy with your performances at all. It has motivated them. It has motivated them. So see what we can do, encourage them, and we, we're just going to get very attacking. We've got nothing to lose at this point. And we're still, we've just had our first shot on target. I was about to say we've still not had a shot on target. That is our first one. We are now looking forward. Jezzy, Kalang finds a Jezzy. He's in, tight angle, pulls it back, and he's off the crossbar. Jazzy off the bar. And we've got to do a lot better with a chance like that, really. We really have, and let's go and make a couple of changes. We, this is the problem, see, we don't have anyone that can really play as a right back. Um, centre mid here, Zachariah is going to come off for Hassan, and Jesse's going to come off for Medenke. And I think that is all three changes that we can actually make that we have made. Um, probably should have taken a mean off because he is playing pretty poorly as well. We're just going to break them, uh, just a goal. Azar with the free kick and the keeper saves and apparently did not cross the line. It must have been close. Corner comes in now that we have to defend. We do head clear. I mean, Denke had time to bring it down there, but he heads it on. And Dave hit the crossbar this time. We do scramble the ball clear this time. And all the pressure is now coming on us. Dead day to Jahar crosses it in. We do head it clear. His hand's not going to get there though. There they again, holds it up. Colbaderto, Bakari hits one and it's in the back of the net. Again. This series is really not going to last very long if we keep doing this. It's too simple. He just got far too much time. It's a beautiful finish. Just far too much time there to just turn and hit that. And we go down 3-0. Maybe the talks of relegation were 
were accurate because that is a terrible, terrible showing for my first game in charge there. Um, players are already unhappy at the club. We come into a real sinking ship. We're going to come back sort of around this FA Cup second round game for tomorrow's first episode. If you haven't tried this, you're looking forward to a new chapter in this career in Malaysia. Do hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new here and you do enjoy what you see. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching once again. Stay safe and I'll see you then. Peace.